Okay, let's stand by for the top of the show, please. Let's stand by for house lights, curtain warmers, and spot on the seal out. Stand by lights 101, house curtain out and orchestra. House to half, go. House lights out and warmers out, go. House curtain out, go. Orchestra and lights 102, go. Welcome to the Princeton Triangle Club Frosh Week Show, The 20 Force Awakens. Normally, this show would be on stage at the McCarter Theater in Princeton, New Jersey. Since several of the videos shown tonight were filmed at the McCarter, we want to take this moment to acknowledge that the land on which the McCarter Theater stands is part of the ancient homeland and unceded traditional territory of the Lenape people. We pay respect to Lenape people's past, present, and future, and their continuing presence in the homeland and throughout the Lenape diaspora. If we were all in the theater tonight, I would tell you that you're not allowed to use your phone to take photographs, call, text, sext, or email during the show. But you're watching remotely, so I guess you can do whatever you want. Just play nice in the YouTube chat, and you can start by giving a big welcome to the class of 2024. Triangle is one of the oldest collegiate musical comedy groups in the country. Every year we put on original musicals, and the show that you're about to see is a smorgasbord of our best and funniest material from shows old and new. It's all student-ridden, student-performed, and student-technicianed. Stick around after the fun and games tonight for an info session about joining one or more of the five sides of the triangle. Yes, we know a triangle traditionally only has three sides, but our club has five. Here's the show. Are we live? Great. Clase de 2024. Bienvenidos a la Universidad de Princeton. Eso es. Oh, oh, sorry. Trinidad Viacte Viacte. Vi Titan a Princetonske Universite. Tohoye. Oh, the English one. Class of 2024. Welcome to Princeton University. This is your official orientation video produced by Quibi, directed by Guy Ritchie. We are your admissions officers. Your essays, we're okay. And we're here to introduce you to the place you've chosen to spend the next four years of your life. New Jersey. Now we know New Jersey gets a bad rap. We've heard it all. The put downs, the cliches, the bad jokes. Hey, what exit? And maybe you wish you'd gone to school in New England or California. Or anywhere else in the world. But we're here to show you the real New Jersey and why it's the best damn place of all. So if you have a misconception. Or a bad impression. Or a grossly offensive stereotype. We have one thing to say. Forget about it. Who wants to see the Mona Lisa? She kind of looks like she could be a dude. <laughs> Forget the Leaning Tower of Pisa, cause if it falls on you, you're pretty screwed. Sure, Egypt's got a lot of culture, but all those pyramids get in the way. Why travel to Trafalgar Square to step across the Delaware? Join us and leave today. There's such a wealth of information to be provided by the friendly staff. It's not the birthplace of a nation, but it's the birthplace of the phonograph. This place is wondrous and exotic. It's called the Diamond of the Eastern Shore. Come on, we'll take you by the hand to Frank Sinatra's native land. See what we've got in store. So much to see and to do in New Jersey. A magical journey that you never knew. That you never knew. Get your tickets and don't be late. Take a tour at the discount rate. See the, the Garden, Garden State. It's gonna be great. The working man makes up a quarter of our industrial economy. We all believe in law and order and the importance of the family. We know the rising thrill of victory. We're all so well acquainted with defeat. We 
of 2024 were your new Princeton admissions officers. Your previous officers were fired. They criticized Governor Murphy. Now, before we continue with the Frost Week show, we wanted to talk to you about an important critical lens you can use while you enjoy Triangle. It's called the Bechdel test. It's a way to see if a movie or play is sexist or not. How does it work? Well, there has to be at least one scene where two women talk to each other. Okay. And they have to talk about something other than sex or men. Of course. Oh, and the women have to be named. That makes sense, Kara. Thanks, Stephanie. So, if a show does all that, then it isn't sexist? Yep, except the scene has to last for at least 30 seconds. Oh. Okay, so I think we're ready to start class. Now, I know we're all still getting used to meeting on Zoom, and I'm sure it feels odd to be attached to truth sensory gear while in precept, but it was the only way I could think of to prevent cheating without sending drones to your house. <laughs> and, uh, well, I don't think that these sensors will interfere with our progress at all. So let's turn to the article I signed yesterday. I Trust you've all read it. Edward. I found the article thoroughly stimulating. I mean, very thought provoking. Well, I'll just keep my mouth shut. Um, uh, Marley, maybe you'd like to continue this discussion. Uh, yeah, I found the reading very big. Can you expand on that? Well, to tell you the truth, I've never seen a 300-page article before. Marley, I don't know why you waste your time with this class. I mean, you never do the reading. You rarely hand in your papers. 
and you never seem interested in the intriguing topics that come up during our discussions. Edward. Yes? I really respect your opinion. Mary, you've got a comment. Yes, I have some technical notes. On page one, line three, there's a run-on sentence. There's a horrifying comma splice on page 105, line six. And on page 312, line 20, there's a really disgusting dangling modifier. Mary, this article isn't numbered by line. Oh, mine is. I number everything I read. I find it very helpful come exam time. You sure you're hooked up, right? Marley, just because I spend a great deal of time in the library does not ipso facto make me a nerd. Mary, you amaze me. Don't you know that those male-generated rules just keep you a victim of the system? You're a perfect example of our morally depraved and politically apathetic society. We can't even hold a discussion that isn't riddled with hypocrisy. It's as if this whole world were just one big black box controlling our minds until we can't think. You'll have to excuse her. She's in mourning for her sense of humor. I have a perfectly fine sense of humor. Uh, I'd like to hear from someone else today. Uh, Joe, do you have something to add? Uh, do I have something to add? It's the opposite of subtract. Well, I think... Oh my god, did that hurt you? Jennifer, dear, he's a strong boy, and he doesn't need your help. Oh, come on. Oh, sure, throw her in my face. Just because I told you I couldn't continue a relationship that was compromising my personhood. Relationship? I never. You're going out with her? It's not what you think. Okay, it was one night. A weekend. I didn't even enjoy it. You liar. You slime. When I told you I loved you, I meant it. Oh, cheating on me when I've been totally faithful. I'm not the kind of girl you could just push around. I wouldn't do anything just for sex. Google is safer than TikTok. I am not attracted to Cuomo. Freshman boys get action. Forbes is worth the walk. Forbes is worth the walk. Oh, Forbes is worth the walk. Do they sell these at the U store? For God's sake, can, can, can we get this class back to normal? It's hard to act normal when you're hooked up to a cattle prod. Well, if you people would just tell the truth. Well, why don't you try hooking yourself up? All right, I'll connect to the system. <clears throat> now. As the author of the article states, the electoral system is unfair, only insofar as it depends on an untenable representative heuristic. Is that clear? Yeah. Ask another, ask another. People, please, you won't be able to write your papers if you haven't read the article. Speaking of papers, when are we going to get our last ones back? I've finished grading most of them. A few of them. I'll get them back to you as soon as I can. As soon as I feel like it! I do not have to use this thing. I'm not in graduate school for nothing. Time is up! If you'd like to talk to me about any of this, 
You can always see me during my office hours. <laughs> I'm available to see students on Wednesdays between 3 and 5. 3 and 4. 3 and 3.30. Make an appointment. Tupac lives at the wall? I knew it! Now to talk about campus life. We're also admissions officers, by the way. The previous ones got fired. Arson. And lots of it. Anyway, on the many, many afternoon strolls you'll take this semester in search of activity and adventure, you'll notice that this place is full of history. In fact, it's haunted. Everywhere is full of ghosts. Macosh, Firestone. Even Lake Carnegie. Wait, what kind of ghosts are in the lake? Everyone's afraid of sharks, and everyone's afraid of ghosts. But think how much more scared they'll be when they realize we're both. Everyone's afraid of ghosts. And everyone's afraid of sharks. But think how terrified they'll be when they see the way to part. We are the shark ghosts, the ghosts of the sea. There are no people ghosts in the sea, only shark ghosts. We are the ghost sharks, the sharks of the sea. We'd like to fight you when you're swimming and also jump. Everyone's afraid of teeth, and everyone's afraid of sheets. Put those two together and you get shark ghosts. Everyone's afraid of spooky things, and everyone's afraid of shark things. Put those two together and you get shark ghosts. We are the shark ghosts, the ghosts of the sea. There are no sharks in your attic, but there are shark ghosts. We are the ghost sharks. We're ghosts who are sharks. We like to eat ghost fish, but also ghost krill. Sometimes it's hard to be a shark ghost. But most times it's not. Cause we're the shark ghosts. <laughs> was from the Princeton Triangle Club's Night of the Laughing Dead, their 2018 horror musical. Triangle creates a brand new musical every fall, as well as a spring review. It's a great community where first years are welcome to join as actors, musicians, writers, technicians, or the business team. Keep an eye out for Triangle's new musical premiering later this semester. Wow, this admissions video is really chilling for the Princeton Triangle Club. 
Well, that's because Triangle is a fantastic extracurricular experience with alums such as Ellie Kemper, Jimmy Stewart, Jose Ferrer, Brooke Shields. No, no, no more alumni! No more! No! Now for a sketch from last year's Triangle show about the world of Wall Street, once a Ponzi time. All right, Dewey, this is it. If we can land these investments, we might just have a shot at beating teams one and two. Over the last few weeks, we have put together a plan we think you'll love. I'm listening. Now, our competitors' mortgage bonds may seem to be more profitable than ours, but the number of mortgage-backed securities... Mortgage-backed securities? Bonds? Profitability? It sounds pretty confusing, right? It might make you feel bored or stupid. Well, it's supposed to. <laughs> Wall Street loves to use these confusing terms to make you think only they can do what they do. In reality, these jabronis just sit on their asses speaking gobbledygook so that they look like they have real power. Dewey! What the fuck? What? Um, did he just call me a jabroni? Dewey, why would you say that? No, but, but I thought, I thought I was talking to the audience. Dewey! We are in a boardroom full of investors! I don't understand. Who is this guy? M Mr. Retner, please, don't mind him. Listen, you're going to love this next idea. Because ever since the National Index has adjusted their treasury stocks... Treasury stocks? <laughs> NASDAQ composite? These are the kind of terms I like to call pseudo-logic. That's because they don't mean anything. When you're pitching to a real imbecile, someone like that fat cow-eyed dummy in the pink tie, pseudo-logic works like magic. Watch closely. Hmm, you make some very compelling points in NASDAQ. There's just one point they can't help but fixate on. It's an I got called a fat cow-eyed dummy. Who, who do you think you are? Oh, God! Why are you doing this? You think we can't hear you when you turn your head. No, 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 but the lights went dim. The spotlight was on me. It was an aside to the members of the audience. What spotlight? What audience? Dewey, what are you saying? Look, you're just going to have to excuse my associate, but please just let me finish the pitch. Fine, but if one more goddamn I'll word... I'll be quick. Uh, because the relationship between high-yield bonds and their security investments... High-yield bonds? <laughs> Remember that term. It's important to understand because it's the entire basis of our pitch. Here is world-famous magician David Copperfield to explain. <laughs> Okay, imagine I hand you five cards from a deck. Think of the ace as the high yield bond. That's the one you really need. You can either play it or <coughs> high as long as... Why is David Copperfield in my office? <laughs> Excuse me? Dewey, you hired David Copperfield? No, I just, I just thought of him. I didn't think he'd Security. be here in person. <sighs> Come on, Mr. Copperfield, you know the drill. Yeah, not again. <laughs> it looks like it's just you and me. I know what you're thinking. It looks like Zooey and Dewey Just shut up! Just shut the fuck up! Hi, we're your new admissions officers. The last two were fired for talking too much about the Triangle Club. In the next part of orientation, we want you to get some real-world student perspectives. Here are two seniors with some thoughts to share. Hey, class of 2024, you want to cherish every moment you get at Princeton. Take it from us, we only have two years left. Whoa, I never thought about it. We're almost done with college. I know, it sucks. After graduation, we're going to be working non-stop. And I mean, actually working. If you think about it, we have nothing to look forward to until retirement. I can't wait till then. Just think how much fun it'll be to move to Florida, permanently. The sun's always shining, the sand is nice and warm. Forget melanoma, it won't have time to form. There's something inside me, it's trying to be heard. I just got to set free my inner Cabinet. 
night and there's jello in the fridge. You tell your life story every day as you play bridge. No one's better looking, everyone's your age. Don't waste time on Facebook, you've got the obits page. I want to live in an old folks part of your college experience <gasps> is the test that you'll take. Oh my god! Not that kind of test. Examinations! This is your final examination. Please rise. The long recognized purpose of college is the sober pursuit of knowledge. The pleasure of an examination Is it measures our dedication We bless you grow from youth to maturity Pursuing truth in its purity United in this single-minded quest As scholars we take our final test. You may be seated. You may begin. Oh, why didn't I read this book more carefully? I knew since early fall that it was crucial. I mean, I tried to grab a quick look at it, but I threw if I can't recall its conclusion. Was it the influence of the retirement of the individual or the affluence of the environment of the residual or the confluence of the retirement of the old ritual? Oh, oh why, why is this confusion, confusion so habitual? Oh, I can't quite see if you could please write more legibly and maybe move your head up bit to the right hand. Oh, in your elbow, ah yes, that's right! No, 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 I can't quite see if you could please write more legibly and 
is over. Oh, fuck! Please rise. United in this true and vital quest In Putin we took our final test Our final test Alert! Alert! The honor code has been violated! Alert! What? You are in deep, deep trouble, young man. You have violated the only rule Princeton actually enforces, the honor code. You didn't sign the pledge on the front page of your exam booklet. But I meant to sign the pledge. I just forgot. Your punishment awaits you in the following Zoom. I demand a phone call. I demand a lawyer. I can't believe you just left me here in Zoom jail. Relax. They didn't leave you in jail. They didn't? No. Read the Zoom invite. Go directly to Yale. This is Yale? We are poor little lambs who have lost our way. It can't be. My punishment for breaking the honor code is a semester at Yale? Ba, ba, ba. I've got to get out of here. I've got to escape. Even if you do escape, they won't let you back into Princeton. The courses are fully enrolled. Are you telling me I have to stay in Yale forever? Exactly. Oh my god, I've got to let someone know I'm here. I know. I'll send an email to my girlfriend. Oh yes, let's write an email. You're very good at writing emails. We're all English majors. I should have guessed. Here goes. Oh, don't bogart. Share the screen. Share the screen. Okay, sharing screen. Dear Bambi. Wait. Wait what? You can't begin like that. This girl is someone special, right? Right. Well, dear Bambi is simply mired in the banal. You, you need something more moving. Words whose power grips the reader from the very beginning. My beloved Bambi. Most beloved Bambi. Most longed for Bambi. Yes, yes, write that down, that's good. Most longed for Bambi. I'm in trouble. 
no, no, no. You're not just in trouble. The entire fabric of your existence is unraveling around you, leaving you cold, naked, and exposed to the world's wintry winds. The time's terrible turmoils. It's atrocious atrocities. Redundancy. 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 <gasps> Redundancy. Now, where were we? Please come at once. Wait, I have a theory. Literary theory? Literary theory! Do you know why you are having trouble writing this email? Because you keep interrupting me? Don't be silly. Your communication is hindered not by your inability ability to express your desires, but by the inability of words themselves to express your desires. Deconstruct! Deconstruct! Don't you see? This isn't a letter about escape, it's a letter about language itself. <laughs> Semantics. Why even try to communicate? Your or words inevitably come back to you in a self-reflexive backlash that stuns you, not with its power, but with its impotence. Powerless language! Oh, postmodernism! Alienation! Cultural anarchy! Don't waste your ink! What can you write when James Joyce has already written it all? <laughs> Oh my god! We're out of vermouth. Hi! We're back. Remember us, the admissions officers from earlier? We got rehired. They found out someone else burned down all those villas. But we've run out of content, so we're gonna redirect the simulcast to my Disney Plus account so we can all watch Hamilton! Wait, Kara! We still have the kick line from last year's Triangle Show. Oh, right. Well, please enjoy legal tender from Once Upon a Time. Look at this. It's just a hundred dollar bill. Oh, Chloe. It's so much more than that. Come on, Chloe. You know you want us. Who said that? Who's there? Isn't it obvious? Look at what you're holding. A one hundred dollar bill? Right on the money. Ben Franklin? The, the Freemason? Freemason? Oh, yeah. <coughs> you might have heard of my inventions. You're familiar with my kite. You might have even heard the whispers of what I get up to every night. It's true, I was a polymath, a founding father, too. I'm so good for democracy, but I'll be bad for you. I signed important treaties as ambassador to France. But now I'm in your wallet, yeah, you've got me in your pants. It's all about the Benjamin, so make me, break me, liquidate and break me. That you want me, so let me be frank. And if you've got a problem, you can take it to the bank. It's self evident the truth is that I am full of passion. So hold me tight and squeeze me as I'm raking all this cash. I burn a hole through your pockets, but it's not all fun and gains. I'm not asking for much, just remember my name. It's all about the Benjamin. Take me, take me, give, share, and break me. I know that you want a big spender.
apocalypse and so forth. I am running out of luck. Time to hold on to the good things, the right now things kind of suck. Though this wasn't what I dreamt of, when I used to still have dreams. With a positive perspective, it's not half as bad as it seems. It's not the end of the world. Welcome, class of 2024. 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 Woo! Hey, everyone. I'm John McEnany, president of Princeton Triangle Club. Thanks so much for taking the time to see our show tonight, or at least for having it on the background of your 10th browser tab. We're so excited to welcome the class of 2024 to Princeton, and hopefully we can also welcome you to Triangle if you're interested in joining one or more of our five sides, cast, tech, business, our pit orchestra, or a writer's workshop. This fall, we're putting together our first original musical movie, All Underdogs Go to Heaven, and we'd love to have you involved. And when we're back on campus, you can look forward to exciting events like our annual national tour. If you're watching the live premiere and are interested in learning more about Triangle, you can click on the Zoom link posted in the YouTube chat to visit our open house. You can also attend our info session and audition workshop this Monday, September 7th to meet our director and learn more about our plans for this year. And you can always learn more about how to join on triangleshow.com. Thanks so much, everyone. Hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.